Alright. This week is chapter 3, which means we're going to Kavaris. I'm already outfitted up and ready to go. So let's get going. This is the last chapter until next month, so we can do this will be the last one we stream like this. Next time we'll just be moving through naturally. Thank you all for coming. How's Central Cannon coming? Splendidly. We learned in the previous battle that Central Cannon is effective against Dark Falls. But its barrel was damaged after just one shot. We are repairing it now, but we must also consider how to improve it. Our main problems are the firing mechanism and the barrel. Its photon particle accelerator and barrel are not strong enough to withstand the force of a super-condensed photon bullet. Which is why I hope to call an old researcher friend of mine to help. He rang me up, saying he had some useful information, but... Is there a problem? I have not been able to contact him for several days now. What? When I spoke with his younger sister, she said he had gone missing. Oh, no. For your next task, I would like to ask you to search for him. Will you do that for me? Of course. This is the Caveras region, where he lives. I want you all to head there. I am sure many of you are aware, but... The Caveras region has been abandoned for many decades now. It was once the seat of the capital, Central City's predecessor. They say we had to abandon it during the course of our war with the Dolls. My researcher friend's name is Ilma. His youth belies his brilliance. We need his intelligence in order to complete Central Canon. And... As his friend, I am greatly worried for his safety. Please, find him. Sure thing, dude. Let's get to Kavaris. The Kavaris region is to the north. We should be able to get there using this route. So let's head there first. Okay. But before that, we gotta get prepped. That's true. Let's meet up again once we get what we need. I'm I'm all, I'm good to go. I had a feeling we were going to get in some snow, so I dressed for the occasion.
to the Caveras region. Ignore that I'm already standing there. Once we exit this cave, we'll be in the Caveras region proper. Brace yourselves. Got it. sound of walking through snow. I'll never miss it. I could go the rest of my life and never have to be and never be in snow again and I'd be happy. Ina above you. <laughs> Yes! 
So this is the Caveris region. Uh, what's this thing? It's a robot. Don't move. Who, who goes there? What are you doing here? Huh? Uh, Ilma? We found you! You're Ilma, right? <laughs> Mission complete already? Hold on. I'm Mary, Ilma's little sister. You mean, you people know Ilma? Not really. We're here to find him. Oh, that's it! So you're siblings. That's why you look so much alike. Which means you're the little sister Crawford was in contact with, right? Yeah, he couldn't get a hold of Ilma, so he called me, I guess. Oh, makes sense. So, who are you? We came here from Central City to look for Ilma. You came all that way? Well, we can't just stand around here and talk. I'll show you to our lodge. I'm back! Hey, Mary. Oh, we've got guests? Oh, are you Ilma? That's Kuka, my older brother. Nice to meet you. Surprising, right? There are five of us. Yeah, from oldest to youngest, there's Tyvis, Tuli, then Ilma, Kuka, and me. Oh, wow. Are you the only one who lives here? Yes. Our parents died when we were young, so our grandpa raised us instead, but... He passed away a little while ago, too. Oh, I'm sorry. Have you heard from Ilma? Are there any clues about his whereabouts? Places he's likely to go, for example? No. Even us siblings never really know what's going through his head. He always shuts himself up here in the lodge doing research. Every once in a while, he'll go out to investigate something and then vanish. Which is why we weren't really concerned at first. Well, either way, we're here to help you find him. Good to hear. We were having a rough time of it on our own. It's nice of you to offer, but we couldn't possibly trouble you. Huh? This is a family problem, so we'll take care of it ourselves. Uh, but... Tyvis and Tuli are out looking for him. It's okay. 
there's no need to worry. They know every nook and cranny of the Caveras region. Besides, if you went, you'd need someone to guide you. Tyvis and Tuli should be back before sunset. You should just wait here. I'll whip you up something to eat. You must be hungry. Does she... not trust us or something? Sorry, we don't have much contact with outsiders. I think Mary just doesn't know how to let her walls down. Uh, oh. Hey, what should we do? We can't just leave things as is. I'm sorry, mission to find him. Yeah. We're on a mission. Even if Mary says not to, let's go look for him. <sighs> Sorry to drag you into this. We'll leave finding Ilma up to you then. Mary said your brothers were out searching, right? Do you know what areas they headed to? Mm, pretty sure Tuli said he was going to look at the research facility. I think Tyvis headed toward Lost Central. Lost Central. Oh, it's the old capital. I see. Okay. Let's go meet up with them. Thanks, Kuka. Okay, we're off. Tell Mary we'll be back before dinner time. <laughs> The Crayola kids. You want to know more about Ilma? Our grandpa was a researcher too. Guess Ilma took up his research for him. It's all kind of over my head, but if it helps you out at all, feel free to look at it. Wait, uh, this is... It's the robot that was with Mary. Ilma's name is written on the back of it. It appears to be autonomous. How does it move, I wonder? Access old central. These are materials pertaining to Lost Central. Next is the dolls. There's quite a bit of data on the dolls here. Did you learn anything? It looks like there are a few buildings throughout the Gavaris region that lie in ruins. I'm thinking Ilma might be somewhere in one of those places. Got it. Awkward teleport. Monuments in the snow.
It must be for their family members. Good job. Area loaded in really awkwardly. Flowers. They take really good care of the gravesite. Let's get going. beneath the snow. Now nah, let's speed up. What's up, Boxy?
Still one left, right? Boards. Angle in. Trial start. Oh, we've got guests? Um, are you people from this area? No, we're Arx Defenders from Central City. We came to collect data. Have you seen any Defenders from this region? We're looking for this guy. Oh, if you're looking for him, you just missed him. Right. He looked strong, had a katana and everything. Uh, where'd he go? Farther inside. It hasn't been that long, so you should be able to catch him. <laughs> Thanks. Come on! We gotta catch up to Ilma! There's a possibility it would be the hero of Tigers. They look alike, remember? This one has a browsing history. It's Mewtwo. Mewtwo so, Chaos. There are dolls here too, huh? Uh, are you... 
Incoming! Oh, um, right. Trial start. Alright, uh, don't worry, these are the little guys. Thank you. You saved us. Um, so you're... Toy. Kuka told me about you three. You're looking for Elma, right? Yeah. Uh, have you found any clues? I've been destroying dolls' nests while I look, so Elma doesn't walk right into them. But I haven't seen hide nor hair. We'll help you out. No, that's all right. I can manage on my own. Huh? Hey, wait a sec! <laughs> you three aren't bad. Mistro Woods lies up ahead. Tyvis is there. Feel free to go help him. Once I take care of the dolls here, I'll head back to the lodge. teleport because it's not going to just let me move into the next one like it would normally. through the woods. minerals. He's throwing shit. Trial start. 
Further in. Hit it with the ice crystals. chicken. Don't even need a weapon. Kick! Oh, reinforcements. Great.
ships all the way over there. I let myself get surrounded there. Thanks. You know, it's not super smart to come somewhere this remote all alone. There's nothing to worry about. <laughs> I know the Kaveras region better than any of my siblings. And yet, you let yourself get surrounded. <laughs> What's an adventure without a little danger? Although, I did drag you into that battle. I'll be more careful in the future. We met up with Thule earlier, and he hadn't found Ilma yet. What about you? Swing and a miss for me, too. I've looked all over now. Where in the world did he get off to? Isn't there anywhere you haven't looked? Huh. Lost Central's about the only place left. Lost Central? I heard that a battle with Dark Falls took place there. And it was encased in ice afterwards. But it's impossible to get inside. The dolls around there are unbelievably strong. Just getting near it is a nightmare. I find it hard to believe Ilma went there. Which means... Hmm... Well, it's dangerous to just hang around here. Let's return to the lodge for now. Okay. I'm going to head inside. If you've got business to attend to, you can go ahead and finish it first. Really needed to see him run off. that communication. Which means it dropped me into the dummy map. Good to see you're all right. Tyvis and Tuli told me everything. You helped them fend off the dolls? Oh, yeah. We managed to run into them. Thank you all for helping them. Don't mention it. We gotta help each other out in times of need. Need some help? Sure. Thank you. I destroyed every doll's nest I could find. I didn't see any trace of Elma, though. Well, it sounds like we covered the entire region. Hmm. If Elma were here, he'd have some sort of brilliant idea for us. Except he's not here. I know that.
Okay. I'm gonna do another sweep of the places I already looked. Maybe I missed something. There's one more place I'd like to check. Huh? Where's that? Lost Central. Don't be ridiculous! We can't go there! Sure. Ilmo was interested in Lost Central, but I doubt he'd go there. That's the yeah. only place left. <laughs> it's too dangerous. As the eldest, my winter here looks lo looks pretty. You always pretty try to outwash. take on too much by yourself. Listen, we need to work together, or we'll never get anywhere. Simmer down, everyone. <laughs> if only Grandpa was here. Grandpa. Kuka, where are you going? Okay, uh, good. You'll, you'll stop complaining about that damn mouse. Ever since Grandpa passed away, we haven't gone near his room. But it looks like Ilma decided to go in anyway. Ah, uh, I think you're textures right. Textures reloaded you wrong. It. There you go. Fix that texture. This room had no ceiling. This is a cubicle. You all inherited this land from your grandfather, right? Yeah. Not that anyone lives in the Caveras region anymore, so it's just a formality. But we'll return it to its former glory one day, just like Grandpa dreamed. This has been used recently. May I? <laughs> Looks like your grandfather gathered a lot of data on Lost Central. There's even info on its interior. Which means... There. See that? I can't wait to see the Christmas shit this like year, too. There's a side entrance into Lost Central. So you think Elmo went to Lost Central? Which is coming up the same after? time as the Most as the extremely yes. hot region. Do you know where this is? That's just on the other side of Mistra Woods. But there's no secret path around there. I should know. It might be hidden or constructed, so it's hard to see at a glance. Anyway, we should go check it out. I agree. If you insist, then I won't stop you. It may be dangerous, but I'll protect everyone. Okay, head out. Like a weird Sentai team. Yeah, Genshin's not really about the whole customization angle. So few things are. That dummy map had fog for some for whatever reason.
The old capital entombed. Oh, because it's an exclusive somewhere? I feel like that's complaining about uh, complaining about guest characters in games. Like Baw, Ezio's and Soul Calibur, that kind of shit. Mm, uh, I'm not seeing anything that looks like an entrance. You don't see that big door. There was an image of this area. Wasn't it this wall here? That's a big door, dude. Apparently a thin one. Doesn't it sound hollow to you? There must be a cave on the other side. Step aside. <laughs> Just tried to mm. cut that. That's one tough wall. It's the door. There's a light puzzle up there. You just do the light puzzle, and the door opens. That's what this... This is the picture of it. I feel like something's different about it. It does look a little different, but what does it mean? It means do the light puzzle. How many people does it take to open a Zelda door? Ninety degrees. Uh, no. Mm. Shut up, man. Hundred twenty degrees. There you go. You did it. There's a metarot in there. You did good work too, Kuka. None of you did good work. All of you thought that was a wall. It was very clearly a door.
You guys? Ilma! 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 Wow! You all came! What are you doing here? We were so worried. Sorry. I was looking through Grandpa's research and found info on how to get into Lost Central. I was only planning to come and have a quick peek, but then some powerful dolls blocked the passage. I wanted to contact you, but the jamming signals were so strong I couldn't. Thanks for coming to rescue me. <sighs> you never change. I know. You lose sight of your surroundings when you're doing research, but still, you're such a pain sometimes. We were worried. But, it's good to see you're all right. Thank goodness. And it's all thanks to you guys, that we were able to find him. Yeah, thank you. That's not true. We all did it together. I think I did most of the work, but okay. Uma, we need to talk to you. And you are? We came here from Central City to find you, on Crawford's orders. Oh, right. You want the data needed to improve Central Cannon. We discovered in the previous battle that Central Cannon was capable of damaging Dark Falls. However, as you probably know, there are two main challenges. The first is output. Even if we can damage Dark Falls, that doesn't mean it's enough to defeat it. In order to achieve that, we'd need hyper-compressed photons and also an accelerator capable of discharging them. The other problem is durability. The barrel of Central Cannon was damaged after firing off just a single shot. Yep. The barrel and photon accelerator need to be reinforced. For that, you need more durable materials for the interior firing mechanism. Although, as I already explained to Crawford, these problems can easily be solved by using the materials and techniques found here. So moving on to the problem at hand, farther inside this area is a place with some considerably valuable data and machine parts. I agree. You completely lost us, Ilma. Oh, to put it simply then, there's a weapon inside Lost Central that was once able to drive back Dark Falls. I found data on the materials and techniques used to create it, but I found something else of worth too. Huh? You'll understand once we get there. Everyone, follow me. quest in the middle of this.
Where are we? Lost Central's control center. This is the core unit. Well, now, let's see here. You can all take a break. Oh, I'm not helping. Central people, could you come here? I've hit a snag. Can one of you try to help me get past it? Madden, you're up. Sure, I'll try. Um, there isn't enough power. The backup is drained too. Well, that's only natural. Here, use this battery. Just throw it to me. I don't know if that'll be enough. Oh, it looks like the subunit is back online. Great. Uh, let's use that then. All right. I think the core system is coming up too. I'll redirect power from the sub to the main. We should probably use safe mode just in case. Right. Hey, you're pretty good. You really know your stuff. The same to you. Wow, she can understand Ilma. Our man is pretty smart, you know. <laughs> It's working? Hopefully, yeah. Okay. Let's take a look inside. Dolls? It seems that we have woken them up from their nap. Never mind. We'll take care of them. Besides, I'd fall asleep if I had to keep watching you work, Ilma. There's a lot of Mewtwo in here. There's so many! Tyvus! Mary! Grab their attention! <laughs> Tully, over there! You got it. Yeah? You 
okay? Wow, they're so strong. Now that's teamwork. <laughs> we'll take care of this one. Now there's the Mewtwo I was waiting for. That's how you beat up a Mewtwo. You did it! Nice work! Ha! Huh, that was a great team play! Okay, let's grab the info we need and go. It's just as I thought. There's a wealth of information about Dark Falls stored here. Whoa. With this, our chances of defeating Dark Falls should rise exponentially. Huh? What's this? I imagine that it is my grandchildren who have discovered this file. There is something I wish to tell you. 
As a result of analyzing the data left behind in Lost Central, I have found that Dark Falls was still in the midst of growing. In this unstable form, it was incapable of unleashing its full power. It is my belief that in the not-too-distant future, Dark Falls will appear once again and grow into its complete form. I do not know if this will be of any use, but I have left behind data on Dark Falls' attack on Lost Central. I hope that it may lead the way to defeating Dark Falls once and for all. Tyvus, Tuli, Ilma, Kuka, Mary, I was only there in place of your parents for a short while, and for that, I apologize, forgive me. I hope that you will all grow and mature into fine adults. If the five of you work together, no one will even come close to rivaling your leadership. Treasure each other always. Grandpa. Thank you, Grandpa. It's okay, Grandpa. We're... we're doing all right for ourselves. You were all a great help. I made you some lunch for your trip back. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I see you've received the data. That concludes your mission, then. Thank you for saving Ilma. You have my gratitude. Leave Central Canyon's renovations to me. I'll be working alongside Crawford. some rest once you get back. Crawford, over and out. Shall we be on our way? Take care. Come again sometime. Yeah, you have to. Okay, we will. See you, everyone. Chapter 3 is not, not too terribly exciting. Alright, come on, man. Load, load in. Attention all Arcs defenders. We are beginning a counteroffensive against dolls appearing in the Cabarrus region. We request the participation of all Elma's Arcs errand. defenders. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> it's you. Did we arrange to meet today? No, I just wander around, dude. Mary made this? And now that you mention it, I've been so caught up in my work, I don't think I've eaten for two days now. There wasn't a cutscene where I the... should oh, take yeah. a break. I think it's time for lunch. Thank you so much for Mary sent me it. out with their food. I need to thank Mary, too. Oh, yeah. Uh, since you're here, could I ask you to do something? Could you bring this to Thule? I heard his equipment isn't in good condition, so I fixed this up for him. Well, I think you'll most likely find him in Mr. Woods. Sorry to put you through the trouble. I've played Zelda before. It's called a trade quest, dude. a little bit jarring to go through these when you don't have one Mary giving you the request. This is yours. This is from Elma? Wow. He can be pretty thoughtful sometimes. <laughs> Guess I'll go ahead and try it out. That's well. Thanks for bringing this. Oh, yeah. I want you to give this pelt to Kuka. Would you do that for me? Thanks. As soon as the grass renders. Kavaris music's all really environmental, if that's the right word. Scenic.
Yeah, talk to Kuka. What's up? This is one fine pelt. Thank you. Thule often gets food and skins and stuff for us. I was just trying to fix up Tyvis's snow gear, but I was short on materials. Now it looks like I'll have enough. On that note, I have a favor to ask. I'm Really sorry, but could you bring this to Tyvis once it's finished? I have a lot of stuff to do after this, so I can't spare the time. You will? Thank you so much. Okay, wait just a second then. I think he's in the Danan snowfield. Please, and... Thank you. Basically told me, yeah, he's outside. Because I don't remember locations in Caveras. Certainly not by name. Tyvis is errand. And then Mary has a closer cutscene. You get the mission just by talking to her outside of the lodge. Well, well. If it isn't you. <coughs> Sorry. My snow gear's not in the best shape. Even I can't handle cold like this. So, Kuka fixed that up for me, did he? I appreciate this. Now, I can get back to exploring. I'll have to thank him later. And thank you for bringing it to me. 
No problem, dude. Huh? You're going back to the lodge? Oh, wait a sec. Would you bring this back with you and give it to Mary for me? Isn't it pretty? I found it here. I thought Mary might like it. I feel bad for always making her stay home and watch the house. So this is a little thank you for her. Well, I still have some exploring to do. Don't forget to give it to her. See you. Ah, uh, Strugmans. Should be the last main Chapter 3 item. Chapter 3 just feels short, but it's it's uh, apparently pretty long. <laughs> We've been going for an hour and a half and just doing story stuff. I know this part of this chapter was added later. Welcome back. I guess Kuka asked you to do something for him, right? Huh? They all asked you to do something? You started it. They really kept you busy. Sorry about that. Ugh. They're all so shameless. What? You think we're good siblings? Why? This is from Tithis? It's so pretty! I'll put it on display in my room! I'll have to thank Tyvis later. And thank you for bringing it too. You must be tired after today. Here's a little thank you from me. I hope you like it. Sorry for relying on you so much, but thanks for all the you help. You actually do get a little accessory for completing these.
I've got sub stories. I do want to check out that concert. Not going to be able to, though. Other. I know. I believe we missed a chapter two item from Manon too, so we'll uh, we'll do that while we're doing this. Render Come Mountain. Here for a minute. Take a look. The view is beautiful. <sighs> Every part of Caveras is so pretty. But when I think about how this view is the result of the fight with Dark Falls, I'm not sure how I should feel. Whew. We're at high altitude. It sure is cold up here. I don't think I could have made it up here without these clothes. Manon was talking about how she can deal with this cold by stimulating her internal photons or something. Yeah, that, I think that's how we do it. I'm not so sure about that. It's pretty cold. You get this close. Oh, I got these from Crawford. Well, I guess it's more accurate to say my dad had them set aside for me. I guess my dad made a bunch of arrangements there in case anything ever happened to him. He generally was the type to just go with the flow, but I guess he did plan ahead sometimes. I feel like I'm just now starting to understand some things about him. I guess the fact that he set these clothes aside for me means that he predicted I would come here at some point. He never did teach me much about fighting, but now this makes me wonder if he was planning to get around to it someday. By the way, I notice you always wear whatever you like. Don't you ever get cold? I tough it out. I see. Well, know your limits, I guess. Well, I think I'll look around this area a little bit more before I move on. See you later!
Oh, that's main. I need other. I know number two. Snow can take its time to render. Here. Oh, I'm just about to head over to the lodge. <laughs> I promised I'd visit Mary. <laughs> Too sure became fast friends. Oh, we sure did. I've been stopping by to hang out ever since we rescued Ilma. For some reason, I felt like I knew Mary from the first moment we met her. I hardly knew any girls around my age until Manon showed up. Obviously, Mary and I were raised in totally different environments. And I figured out why when I saw her break up that argument between her brothers. People usually got along pretty well in Alia Town for the most part, but when they would fight, they would get so tangled up in pride and status and saving face that they would never back down. So I would always try to go in and make peace. I guess Mary plays kind of a similar role with her brothers as the one I did. Or like how I was always there to make food for everyone when they would come home tired from fighting. It's nice when people enjoy your cooking, but it's hard when food runs out all the time. And how everyone was always asking me to cook this or that. When I talk to Mary about that kind of thing, she can totally relate. So we've been talking a lot lately because we have so much in common. Mm, wouldn't you like to join us? Wouldn't want to bother you too. <laughs> you wouldn't be a bother. But I didn't tell Mary I'd be bringing you along, so maybe it's not such a good idea. Yeah. Well, maybe next time. <gasps> oh, look at the time. I need to get going. See you later. Alright, 
yeah, missed that chapter too. So let's do that real quick. Welcome! Mo uh, this one's mostly just uh, running story, so. Oh man. Render. The Render. Is... Theoretically, it should be like this. Oh, <laughs> when, when did you get here? You surprised me again. You're pretty good at doing that. Do that. I was just collecting their data. Don't worry. I let Manira know about it ahead of time. What I really want to know about these tuners isn't so much how they work, but... I'm more interested in Nadara's power of song that they broadcast. Her ability has something to do with the relationship between her internal and external photons. Don't which say would it. mean that it's something pretty similar to a technique. But a technique with that kind of area of effect would require an incredible amount of photons. I don't see how anyone could pull that off all by themselves. So, I thought I might start by looking into these devices. But, no luck, I guess. From what I've been able to gather so far, the tuner amps are not very powerful. So, what that means is that Nadara herself is generating the vast majority of it. Oh no, I'm in Kavaris. Um, this is just one I missed when I was going through the Ratem storyline stuff. It's possible that so she's clearing it off the board while we're here. Even more basic than that used for techniques. I'm just trying to catch up storyline-wise so that I can just stream um part I'm chapter four when it starts. It might be what's known as magic that's a good idea but I get the feeling that she may not understand it very well herself but what we do know is that the power of song only passed down through her family line and her power manifests differently As you can see, I'm dressed for Kavaris while we go through these. In fact, now I remember her saying that her feelings come through in her songs. For example, the feeling that she didn't want her people to get hurt was stronger than her feeling that she wanted them to fight harder. That had an effect on enemies and weakened them uh, no i still need more data before i can even formulate a hypothesis regardless it's impossible to totally quantify something like emotion if it turns out that it's not possible man to and are you some kind of robot scientifically it would make sense. Then it has you're some to be kind of robot. Supernatural.
Well, um, I haven't had PSO2 current with streaming it, and I'd like to get to that point <laughs> so I can just stream um, the storyline stuff every Friday, going through it naturally. Um, I completed all of original PSO2 on stream, the, the storyline, and so I'm, I want to get this out of the way so that I can actually... Um, go through each one naturally as it drops. Oh man. <laughs> Fancy seeing you here. That snow Francis does not want to render. Dedicated his there entire you go. life to the revival of Caveras. He spent every waking moment trudging through snow and ice to find out what happened. The rapid and violent change that took place in the environment during that war with Dark Falls. It's also nice to check out the um the replaying of the storyline just to see what kind of jank there is there he left vast amounts of data in the lodge study and the lost central terminals because this is a part of the game that most people won't check out going back through the storyline at the lost central especially in addition to files about the current state of the city there were also plans for how to get it up and running again to restore it to its former glory as the original Central City, and not just Lost Central. My guess is that Ilma and the others will carry the torch for Lysis now. But there's no telling how long it might take them. And one other thing. There was data regarding Central Canon in Lysis's report too. Caveras arcs also used the cannon to repel the Dark Falls invasion. The records indicate that nearly 100% of the output capacity and stability have been preserved. That incomplete file about the central cannon that was in the study, Ilma finding that, is how this all got started. When he shared the report with Crawford to get his thoughts on it, he also started trying to see if he could research it himself. And in the process, he realized that there was still more data to be found in Lost Central. You know the rest of the story. Now that we have all of the data, we should be able to make progress towards restoring Central Canon. Lysis really did put his heart and soul into building a better future for everyone. What an amazing person. Great. There are so many amazing people on Alpha. Everyone is giving it their all. Not just for themselves, but for everyone. I've met so many amazing people while traveling with you two. They all have that in common, even if their circumstances might be different. <sighs> How else can I help the people of Halfa? That's what I'm working on figuring out. The one thing I have definitely noticed with redoing the storyline is there's a lot more loading to it. 
because it seems to put you in a little dummy map that you just saw me teleport from while the cutscene runs and then it has this awkward bit of jank where it teleports me back They could probably fix that by having a menu that comes up for the specific stuff there. Just for the specifically, oh, here's the storyline uh, menu selection or the mission, the count, uh, the quest counter menu coming up without a a any loading of the zone or anything. Well, we got a ruin. I had a feeling you might come. Oh, you're getting you're starting to predict me? You always creep up on me at times like this. Uh, let me guess. You're interested in that place, too? Belagana Ruins? Yeah. Lysus also mentioned this place in his report. The people of Caveris gave Belagana Ruins its name. They refurbished the large ruins that were already here, and turned them into a habitable place. Its population was on the order of Lost Centrals. It was considered second only to the first central city. And then, 100 years ago, it turned back into ruins again. Caveris's technical proficiency at the time was far superior to Alio or Ritem's. And they used to make vehicles that would be considered advanced, even by today's standards. They poured out all that ingenuity into their fight against the dolls. The weapons and manufacturing techniques they came up with made them quite formidable. But even with that, they couldn't withstand the doll's onslaught. They ended up almost completely wiped out. What kind of shit happens when it's sudden? The reason was that their arts defenders were subpar. They relied too much on their superior weaponry and didn't develop their fighting abilities. The foundation of every arts defender is photons. No matter how powerful the weapon, Without ammo or energy, it's worthless. In the end, all you can really rely on is your own photons, and your ability to wield them. The Caveris Arx defenders weren't able to do that, and so they lost. Or at least that was the gist of the information found in Lysus's data. I only got to see some of the documents, but from what I saw, he mentioned the war often. Not only was he passionate about his research, but he was an excellent Arx Defender. At a basic level, all Arx Defenders need to excel in both martial and scientific pursuits. On that point, it's pretty similar to how Ritem's Arx Defenders think. Neither Alio nor Ritem have anything like the technology that Caveris had at the time. But even if they did, they wouldn't have the capacity to produce it in mass. So they have to make do with the weaponry that they have. Which means that each Arx Defender has to actually know 
how to fight. There simply isn't any other choice. Awkward load out of the way. I think that's all this page. Alright, yeah. Alright, let's go around. Crawford Nilma. Glad to see you. I was just wrapping up a few central canon details. Thanks to the data Ilma sent, I've been able to ferret out all manner of technical problems. And there were a bunch. And it's all thanks to the three of you. My sincerest thanks. Ilma's a cut above. That's true. He often understands things in ways I hadn't thought of. He certainly is a fine engineer. How I met Ilma is kind of a funny story. One day, I saw that some anonymous comments had been made on data I'd uploaded to the library. The comments described errors in my work in meticulous detail. Incredulous, I re-examined my data, and sure enough, the commenter was right. Wondering who I was dealing with, I looked up the address. It had come from Caveras. That immediately made me think of one person, of course. But I knew that Lysis, whom I had been in communications with before, had passed away. I contacted the Lodge, and it was Ilma who answered. He told me that his mechanical skills were entirely self-taught. His free-spirited approach to problems was refreshing to me. I've been asking his advice on a variety of problems ever since. Including, of course, Central Cannon. He's been working his way through the vast collection of research Lysis left behind. His ingenuity, combined with that logical mind, makes him second to none. I'd better work hard to keep up with him. Well, I suppose I should get back to working on Central Cannon now. I have to make sure it's ready when we need it, right? So he can blast a hole through Dark Falls' chest.
Mission accomplished. Thank you for your contribution. I did nothing. Preview right, for chapter four. Oh, just in time. I'm thinking about putting together a rapport on the steer region. See it? It's right over there. Would you mind if I run some of it by you first? Sure, go ahead. All right. <laughs> Here goes, then. It's a colossal volcanic island located on the other side of Halthia Lake. We have an advanced team exploring it now, <laughs> just like Caveras. Although it's been several years since they first started out, they still haven't been able to make much progress. There are three things in their way. First of all, the interior terrain is really rough. Second, many incredibly powerful dolls have been detected in the area. And third, communications between the advanced team and Central City are not going well. The interior of Stia is like a multi-story structure, and the team has seen energy plants in there. They think that doll's production may be going on somewhere in there. Doll's production? Yes. We're waiting on a report from the advance team for more details, but communication is slow. The team wants to recon the doll's production site, and even destroy it if at all possible. But Crawford won't authorize the advance team to do that yet. He's saying he thinks it's still too soon. We do need to strengthen the defenses of each region, but we also can't just leave those dolls in Stia to wreak havoc. Both arguments seem equally valid, but we just haven't had the numbers to manage both at the same time. The team in Stia keeps insisting something truly nefarious is going on, but they've been unable to act on it. Those restraints may be released fairly soon. We've been building up cooperation with Retamarks and finally managed to make inroads in Caveras. The repair of Central Cannon is coming along at a rapid pace, too. And it's all thanks to your help. We have no choice but to start putting more resources into the situation in Stia now. I imagine we'll have difficult battles ahead of us, so we'd better be well prepared. We want to do all we can to help, in whatever way we can. Well, I'll let you know if there are any new developments.
Alright, how many more do we have? Advance team! Huh? Are you here doing shopping too? I'm preparing for battle. Oh, okay. Well, I came to exchange some of our leftover food. <laughs> I remember this place used to be completely silent and deserted. Sometimes some Arx defenders from Alia would come to do some surveying or excavation. But that was really only once in a blue moon. By the time you guys showed up, lots of people were coming here. It was kind of unnerving at first. I mean, I had never seen so many different people. It wasn't just me either. My siblings always seemed to be on edge too. We were preoccupied with Ilma too. But then things started to settle down a little and I started having conversations with them. And I came to find out they were all really nice. They'd ask things like, do you need anything? And do you have enough food? Some of them even treated us like their own children. We've always taken care of ourselves completely on our own. So that's what we were used to. But I feel like they taught me what it really means to take care of one another. Our grandpa always used to tell us to take care of each other, of course. But I don't think I really understood what that meant until now. It's not just superficial cooperation. Noticing when the other person is upset. Or being able to ask for help when you need it. That's what taking care of one another really means. These kind people. And you three taught me that. Thank you again. I'm really grateful to you for helping us rescue Ilma. Just glad he's safe. Yes, me too. But... If that incident had never happened, I think the five of us would still just be doing our own thing. Now, we know how to truly take care of each other. And these kind people, too. You two, if you ever need anything, don't hesitate to ask. We'll gladly do anything we can to help. <laughs>
Nobody's ever going to address the bird. What are you up to today? All your siblings gone? Oh yes, almost too well actually. Elma is devoting himself to his research, same as ever. Tyvis and Thule are competing over which one can defeat the most enemies. And Kuka often helps me with my work. None of those things have changed. But there are some things that have changed. Kuka goes out to do things with his brothers more often now. He helps Tyvis and Thule fight enemies. And he helps Ilma's investigations. I've noticed that Tyvis and Thule go out together a lot lately. Before, it always seemed like if one went east, the other one went west. And it feels like they help me with my work more often now, too. Helping me hunt tames or pick fruits and vegetables. I try to help them as much as I can, too. But when Ilma gets talking about his research, it's like he's speaking a foreign language. Speaking of talking, I chat with Ina and Manon a lot more now. Ina tells me about your journey together so far, and her memories of Aleotown. What a terrible thing it is, what happened to her. But she seems to feel comfortable talking to me about it. She says it's because we're both survivors. And that makes me so happy. And then there's Manon too. She tells me about all kinds of things I'd never heard of, having always lived here in Caveris. Like different creatures and other environments. She's not as difficult to understand as Ilma, of course, but sometimes I still can't quite keep up. Oh, by the way, do you have a little more time after this? I was hoping you could tell me some of your stories. Oh, okay. Yeah, we do. Oh, wonderful. Let's go back to the lodge to talk then. And this one time I fought an angel. Not like when I fought God and all of those fake angels. I mean a big diamond thing. It was an angel from Evangelion. I had to fight it in a robot. Just tell her the most unbelievable shit from original PSO2. Fought a monster in space that was basically a bunch of hands.
Fresh start. Just a little more. Oh, I didn't know you were here. Clearing off the gravestones? Yes. If I don't keep at it, they get buried in the snow. But to tell the truth, they were never actually laid to rest here. Not my mother or my father. Or my grandpa. I, uh, don't remember my parents very well. We were all so young when that disaster occurred on Mount Latva, and we never saw them again. That's why we were raised by our grandpa. The one who taught us all about how to live in this snow country was our grandpa. But then one night, he went out in a blizzard and never came back. The people of Alio helped us search for him, but we never found any clue about what happened to him. Ever since then, we've had to survive out here, all on our own. The Alio folks recommended we move to Central City, but we had already decided to try and carry out our grandpa's dreams here. And that's how we ended up staying here. But things never really went well for us. Each one of us worked as hard as we could at whatever we were able to do. But we never seemed to mesh with each other emotionally. We fought over our goals and plans a lot. And we never could quite understand what we were doing wrong. And that's the way the years passed. We didn't realize our mistakes until Ilma's disappearance. After the three of you showed up. Thank goodness we don't have to live that way anymore. I'm so glad. Thanks to the three of you, I think we can move forward without repeating the mistakes of our past. Whether it's about Lost Central, or about the enemies you encountered down the road. If you ever need help with anything, just let us know. Because now, it's our turn to help you. There's... not much I can do all by myself, of course. But with the five of us together, there's nothing we can't do. Now, let me promise you. Here, in front of my grandpa and my parents. I will support you in your battles in every way that I can. You can count on me.
Probably three for Ilma, too. Who's there? Well, fancy seeing you. What are you doing here? Good. Thought I'd go to Lost Cycle. I see. I was just collecting some samples here for my research. Actually, I'd like to go to Lost Central too, to continue my research. But Mary and the others yelled at me and told me never to go there alone again. Um, by the way, thank you for rescuing me a while back. There was so much going on, I don't think I ever said thanks. At the time, I had no idea all that stuff was going on outside. Communications were jammed, and there were all those tough dolls roaming around out there. I had some food with me, and there were mountains of research materials I wanted to go through. So I thought I'd just settle in and try to escape when I got the chance. I guess I probably should have left a note or something. I was reading my grandpa's reports in the lodge's study and I came across a description of Central Canon. Wow, that sounds cool, I thought. And before I knew it, I was on my way. I have a bad habit of losing sight of everything else when I get something in my head that I'm interested in. I need to work on that. Uh, but at least it got Central Canon on the path to repair, right? And... I got a good start on exploring Lost Central too, right? If you say so. So the pros and cons kind of balance out in the end, don't you think? I'll go with no on that one. Seriously? Not you too. Mary, uh, really let me have it when I got back to the lodge that day too. Ever since then, I've made sure to let someone know before I go out anywhere. And I always call if I think I'm going to be late getting home. I try not to go off by myself too much. My siblings used to all kind of do their own thing most of the time. But now they check in with each other more and go out together a lot. Ever since that one incident, I'd say a lot of things have really changed. That's good, right? I plan to start putting even more effort into helping Alio now. I'm going to help with Central Canon development and do everything I can to support them. And then the pros and cons should really balance out, don't you think? Well, I'd better get going. <laughs> Thank you again.
gonna have to clean out my weapon storage soon. Last one. Oh. I'll have to figure out what to do next time. Because I don't think the storyline drops until the 7th. Or is it the 3rd? No, it wouldn't be the 3rd. The it would definitely be the 7th. It's you. I'm just taking care of a little favor for Crawford. Oh, that's right. Do you have a minute? Since we'll be working together going forward, I should probably tell you some things about Crawford and me. Do you have some kind of secret? Nothing as exciting as all that. As you probably know, my family has never lived anywhere but Caveras. The only people I ever saw or talked to were my siblings. Every once in a while, some Arx defenders from Alia would stop by. But just to get directions, or to exchange a little bit of news. The only other thing I ever saw was a vast expanse of white. My siblings are all pretty enthusiastic about Grandpa's old dream of reviving Caveras. But for me, something has always seemed lacking in this kind of life, somehow. And then one day, I was organizing some data at my terminal when I happened to come across a research forum. As I was reading it, some data caught my eye. Come to find out later, it was written by Crawford. I happened to notice some mistakes, so I posted some comments. And the person started hammering me with questions. So, that's how I met Crawford. Well, I say met, but we were more like pen pals. Never met him in person? Never. To tell the truth, I doubt I would even recognize him if I did. He probably wouldn't be able to recognize me either. But wait, we sent our profile pics to each other once. My picture was kind of old. I heard that you used that photo when you were out looking for me. Really? Sorry, you must have had a pretty difficult search then. I know all of us siblings look pretty similar. If we had the same clothes and hair color, you probably couldn't tell us apart. Anyway, uh, getting back to the subject. Even without seeing his face, I can pretty much imagine how he feels just reading his reports. I can tell how passionate he is about a topic, or which areas he struggled with. I feel like we understand each other, even without meeting in person or talking. Even now, we still correspond about technology, mostly by writing. So our relationship has always been somewhere between just plain research partners and real friends. Lately, I've had more chances to correspond with other research scientists too, but their responses are never as quick and accurate as Crawford's. It's really made me realize all over again what an amazing man he is. Hey, don't tell Crawford any of this, okay? He'll get a big head about it. <laughs> yeah, I get that. 
Uh, well, that's it about Crawford and me. I bet a lot of people would think the two of us are kind of weird. Anyway, yep. I just wanted to tell you about it. Well, see you later. You're both weird. Should definitely check the second on tab of other. See if there was a chapter three on that. I think there was. Introduction to, uh, to a urgent quest, I would assume. Chapter 1 and Chapter 2. Okay. Well, that's it for Chapter 3. So, uh, I don't think Chapter 4 is going to drop until the 7th. Uh, so, next, um, next Fantasy Friday will be different. Probably do dailies, maybe take on an Ancient. But anyway, I'll see you next time. Actually, wait. Yeah, I, I, I've got enough time that I can switch over to Pokemon after this, so I'm going to end the stream, take a bit, a bit of a break, and then come back on with Pokemon. Alright, see you in a few minutes.